the final round of the 2018 WSK Super Master Series for 2018. Good afternoon and thank you wherever you are joining us all around the world on our exclusive coverage of what promises to be a sensational afternoon of racing. Four finals with the junior carts about to be placed out onto the circuit. We started the series back in Adria, the middle of winter. It was barely above freezing. The second round of the series, it was below freezing. Remember the snow at Lanato canceled the show. So we went to La Conca two weeks later. We had the restage second round here at Sano just seven days ago. And we're back here for the final race here this afternoon. This is Ian Salvestre and delighted to bring you our coverage of the 269 drivers racing this final round of the series from 43 nations here at one of the most spectacular circuits with one of the most amazing backdrops in all of world motorsport. That is Mount Vesuvius. You know Krakatoa, you know Mount Fuji in Japan, Vesuvius that towers over this circuit at a height of 1,281 metres. The circuit, which is 1,547 metres, was built back in 1994 and is about to host fireworks of its own kind, the junior final. The title is on the line. Paul Ron starts on pole position. He is fourth in the series. Just quickly, Gabriel Mini leads the championship on 249 points. As you look at the Estonian for Ricky Flynn Motorsport on pole, Kirill Small, who didn't set a time in qualifying, 82nd on Friday night. No time for the Russian, but he is still 232 points. He had a sensational pre-final and he's certainly still in contention for the final, or the title here this weekend. Kirill Small starts this one on grid number 10. Gabriel Mini exactly in front of him, grid number eight. Taylor Barnard, he won the pre-final also this morning. And the young driver from Cromer on the east of England, where we understand that the temperature is still struggling to get above single digits. Taylor Barnard has been superb. It's his first year in WSK international competition. Driving for the Cut Republic of Dino Chiesa, the 304 Perilla powered KR machine on the outside of the front row of the grid. He's actually seventh in the championship and can't really win the title. Well, mathematically he can't, but he can certainly win this final round of the series here this afternoon. Once again, thank you for joining us all around the world as you look at Taylor on grid number two, three, zero, four. The English driver for the Italian team. And we are set for what promises to be a spectacular 13 lap junior final. That is 20 kilometers of this amazing circuit that gets longer and longer. They are still doing work here at Sano, which also hosts motorcycle and some car racing as well. The new length and circuit will be more than two kilometers in length when it's finished later this year. Dino Boganovic starts out of grid number three, driving for Ward Racing out of Sweden, is the driver from Sweden. Victor Bernier is alongside VDK Racing, 2016 World Champions. Victor has been superb this weekend, along with his teammate Vladislav Lonko, who starts right behind him. That is the Frenchman, took a heat win yesterday. VDK Racing, 2016 World Champions, when their driver, Victor Martins, won the race in the desert in Bahrain. Victor, we wish him well as he makes his debut in Formula Renault Euro Cup competition in seven days' time at Paul Ricard in southern France. That is Zach O'Sullivan, also for Ricky Flynn Motorsport, the driver from London. 325 starts out of grid number five. He is fifth in the series. Ricky Flynn Motorsport, first and fifth on the grid. Their former driver, Lando Norris, overnight, taking up pole position and then a win in the first round of the FIA Formula 2 Championship at the Bahrain International Circuit that I just mentioned a few moments ago. That is Vladislav Lonko, 
from Russia, also for VDK Racing, the Perilla Powered Cosmic. The same team that Victor Martins did drive for in 2016. And as the beautiful grid girls leave the circuit, what a fantastic sight it is. This is not Formula One. We have grid girls here in Naples. They are beautiful and they're not going anywhere. In a literal sense, they are walking off the circuit though. And we do note that the organisers of the Monaco Formula One Grand Prix have invited quietly grid girls back to the F1 race in the Principality next month. Sebastian Montoya, the Colombian American, has been superb this weekend. Has gone from a midfield runner to being one of the contenders for a victory. Starts out of grid number seven, the 397 Vortex Power Tony Kart. As the one minute board goes up, as you can see. And that is the series leader, Gabriel Mini, the driver from Sicily. Driving from the team from Bassano del Grappa, just outside of Venice in northern Italy, starting out of grid number eight. We are ready for the first of our four finals here this afternoon. It's a beautiful sunny day. Temperature of around about 25 degrees. The bitumen is about 10 or 12 more than that. And the carts are pushed into light. This is the fourth and final deciding round of the WSK Supermaster Series for 2018. The field head off down the back straight. What a spectacular backdrop here in Naples. That is Vesuvius in the background. And this is the grid. Iran, Bernard, Boganovic, Bernier, Zach, alongside Vladislav, Sebastian Montoya, and the series leader, Gabriel Mini, Alex Dunn from Dublin in Ireland, alongside Kirill Small, who's hoping to take out the title this afternoon. Hadrian David, who won at La Conca, the second round of the series, Mari Boya, Josh Tufek, Marcus Aman, Semi Megatunif. Then we have Osman Ninos dos Brasil, the boys from Brazil, Gabriel Bortoletto, and also behind him on the grid, Rafael Camara from Recife in the north of the country. Further back in the field, Luca Bosco for Alessandro Manetti Motorsport. Luca Grigsy Griggs, who qualified in second place on Friday night for the Lennox Racing Team with a 58.714. Luca, one of the drivers this weekend who has been affected by a virus that has been circulating. Many thought it was just fatigue, travel, airplanes, airports and hotels over the last few months since the season had got underway. But Luca, one of the drivers under the effects here this weekend. But it matters little now, the adrenaline kicks in and we've got 34 of the world's best juniors lining up to take the start for our first final this afternoon. The title is on the line, the fight really is between Mini Small Bortoletto out of grid number 16, can also win the title. He's third on 223 points, as opposed to Small on 232 and Mini on 249. But it's a long shot from the Brazilian. And he starts out of grid number 16. His rivals for the title, a few rows ahead of him on the grid. Ready for the start, it is the Estonian Aron on pole. Taylor Barnard from England on the outside of the front row of the grid. The four red lights go out, we go green. Taylor Barnard up the inside, almost snatches the lead. But Paul Aron is having none of it. It is a good clean start. Up the back straight, the driver from Estonia for Ricky Flynn Motorsport leads them for the first time here this afternoon. Bernard into second spot. You see we've got three, four carts going out wide. It looked as though one of the carts being taken out there was the Finnish driver, Marcus Amand. We'll check that as they go through the timing loop next time round there. Three, four hundred metres away from us at the far part of the circuit. Zach O'Sullivan's out. Oh, Montoya. Kirill Small is out. Marcus Amand was the other driver also involved. Kirill Small has been taken out not only of the race, but also of the title. Oh, can you believe it? He was up inside the top 10 off the start. We'll check the order next time round. We've lost four drivers. We're down to 30. The race leader is Paul Aron. 
Barnard across the line second. Then it's the VDK Racing drivers. Bernier, Lomko, Baganovic in five. Mini in position number six. Bortoletto is 12. Kirill Small is out. Oh, the Russian, the championship contender from Yekaterinburg in Russia will not win the title here this afternoon. A sensation. 300 metres after the lights went green. Paul Aron, the Estonian, is the race leader from Taylor Barnard. The English driver has been on the podium already in 2018. But can he stand on the top step this afternoon? There are the VDK racing drivers. Victor Bernier from France, Vladislav Lomko from Russia. Then it is Dino Biganovic. He is now the leading contender for the Ward Racing Team in position five. Gabriel Mini in position six. What that does with the virtual championship, I can tell you, it is still on the line. Because if it were to win right now, hypothetically, Mini would take the title on 279 points to Paul Aron, second on 278. It all depends where the Sicilian, the Estonian finishes. Bortoletto currently in position 11, 233 points. Taylor Barnard is back on 205 points. He's not worried about the title. He wants to win the race here this afternoon. Down through betitaly.it. Coming up to complete the end of the lap number three here at Sarno. Just recapping, Zach O'Sullivan is out. Sebastian Montoya, after a superb performance all weekend, the Colombian American is also out, as is the Finn Marcus Amand. And Kill Small retires from the final after just 300 metres. Ron leads them down on lap number four. Taylor Barner thought about making the move. Still the VDK racing pilots. Lomko and Bernier, they have traded positions. The Russian now into third. Then it is Bernier, Boganovic, Mini still in sixth. Murray Boyer up into seventh. Alex, the Irishman, done in eighth. Hadrian David, the winner at La Conca, the Frenchman in position nine. And Gabriel Bortoletto, the boy from Brazil, rounds out the ten. Down in Tibet, Italy, there is a freight train forming up. There's Hadrian David going through just ahead of Bortoletto. Josh Dufek, semi Magotini from Marseille in southern France. The Bulgarian, Georgi Dimitrov, Lorenzo Resico, Pingasov, Kamara. The other of the Brazilians out in 16th spot ahead of Pizzi, Cabrillo, Bosco, and Jose Antonio Gomez Gutierrez rounds out the 20. Barnard gets a run down the straight, down the inside. Oh, brilliantly done by Taylor. He just rounded up the Estonian to take the race lead. Didn't even need to go past under brakes. Got the run at the exit of turn number one. The Cup Republic, the driver from England, Taylor Barnard, now leads the final here in Italy. Dino Baganovic still in fifth spot, trying to get past the VDK Racing drivers. That was Luca Bosco going wheel to wheel. With Gomez Gutierrez, Cabaru, Pizzi, Camara, Conrad Lawson. He is stuck in behind his countryman Sebastian Ogard and head of Norton Andreasen, who's already come back from grid number 33. He's into 24th spot, head of Kai Aski, the Malaysian Adam Putra, Alex Catalus from Singapore, Balzarotti, Tikan Karitanov, and Lorenz Van Uppen from Rotterdam in Holland. The final runner, but way down in position 30. So back to the front, and Taylor Barner, the race leader, a run in second. Mini, the championship leader in position five. The Sicilian starting to work his way through. There he is on the tail of the Frenchman, Victor Bernier. This is not yet half race distance. Taylor Barnard with two tenths of a second into the Pantafuel's hairpin. Down the Vega tires back straight into betitaly.it, the hairpin. And Vladislav Lonko, the Russian, closing in on the Estonian and the Englishman as we approach half race distance. What a sensational start to this final race of the 2018 WSK Supermaster Series, the front three. From the Cat Republic of Dino Chiesa, 
Ricky Flynn Motorsport and VDK Racing, respectively. Bernie Ass still in P4. Head of Gabriel Mini. Mini down the inside. You got a glimpse. The Sicilian has gone through. The Sicilian Gabriel Mini is now into position four. That's where he needs to finish to take out the title here this afternoon. At the other part of the circuit, there is an incident involving Dino Viganovic and also Hadrian David is out, the Frenchman. The race, a local yellow only at this point. We want to keep it green. The drivers look to be relatively okay. Hadrian David and Dino Beganovic have been involved in that off screen and they have retired from this race. The leaders go through. Barnard, Aron, Lomko, Mini in fourth, Bernier, Bortoletto up to position number six, Aron in second spot. The virtual championship still Mini, Aron and Bortoletto. Then we go back to Mini in position number four on the road. That's all he needs to do to take the title here this afternoon. If the order out front stays the same, the Englishman Taylor Barnard is doing Gabriel Mini something of a favour at the moment by leading this race. Not really in contention for the title. He would finish fifth in the championship, but cannot win it outright. Of course, Gabriel Mini, the reigning champion. There are the current standings at the bottom left of your screen. Gabriel Mini, the reigning champion from last year. That was in the 60cc Mini category. Yes, that is his real surname. It is just a coincidence. It matters little because the boy from Sicily is super quick in the Caroline cart. 346 powered by the Perilla. As Aron has another look at the Englishman down the inside. Nicely done by Paul Aron. They go side by side. Oh, he does it. Only just though. Watch Vladislav Lonko in the Perilla powered Cosmic Cup. They're going to be three wide on the exit here. Barnard, Aron, they go wheel to wheel, side by side. Watch the Russian right behind. Vladislav Lomko for VDK Racing. VDK Racing wants to win here this afternoon. Down the Vega tires, back straight. I can tell you that incident involving Lorenzo Resico, Rafael Camara also, Adrian David and Dino Beganovic. Resico being attended to by the medical team. That was his abandoned Birol Art in the back shot of your screen. He is okay though, and the race stays green. Four laps now remaining here in Naples. Taylor Barnard retakes the lead from Aron and Vladislav Lomko. Currently, that is your podium. Lomko tucked in behind Aron. Aron goes through, watch the Russian in second. Vladislav Lomko goes through. Taylor Barnard goes from first to third in one single move. Taylor back to third spot. The race now being led once again by the Estonian, the pole sitter, Paul Aron. The fielder coming though, being led by the championship leader, the Sicilian Gabriel Mini. Three laps now to go. Taylor Barnard looks behind. The field are coming and they are coming fast. Mini, Bernier and the boy from Brazil, Gabriel Bortoletto from way back on grid number 16, the Brazilian, the Sao Paulo star, up into position number six. The field come across the line, there are now three laps to go. This is the final race of the final round of the WSK Supermaster Series here at Naples. A run down the inside defensive, watch Portoletto, he picks off Bernier, the Brazilian up into position number five. What a race we've got going here at the foot of the legendary volcano that is Mount Vesuvius. Aron just takes the lead, only just. Barnard around the outside, Mini into third. Gabriel Mini now up onto the podium. Surely that will be enough for the Sicilian to take the title. But he needs to finish the race. It is a six cart freight train. It is a dog fight for the lead here in Naples. A beautiful sunny afternoon at the bottom of the volcano. The action is now erupting right on track before your very eyes. Bortoletto up to P5. He has put some distance between himself and Victor Bernier. 
Semi Mega Tuni back in seventh spot. Barnard tries the inside. He looks behind him at the same time. Mini. Oh, down the inside. Vladislav Lomko back on the podium. Mini runs wide. Almost loses the championship right there and then. Does recover his back in sixth. Paul Aron, there's nothing between it. The Estonian now leads the race and potentially the title. We'll check it for you next time round. When they come across the start finish line, they will get the last lap board. Paul Aron from Paul has done everything right. He is the race leader. And when our screen gets its own breath back, refreshes itself, even it is getting confused, we'll check the virtual championship for you. The final lap now for the Estonian. Barnard in second spot. There's Semi Mega Tunif coming across the line. The virtual championship. It's a fight between Mini and Iran. Let's concentrate on the race for the moment. There is one point in the title. Bortoletto in position number three. Will leave the championship alone for the moment. Paul Iran looking for a win. Taylor Barnard wants to take it off him. Bortoletto on the podium seven days ago. Wants to stand on the top step this afternoon. The Englishman and the Estonian. There's the BDK racing drivers. And behind them, the championship leader by a single point, Gabriel Mini. A run goes defensive. This is the final few corners. There are two opportunities coming up. One is right here. Taylor Barnard, can he put it down the inside? There is no space. A run will be slow on the exit. The final corner. Barnard tries the outside. Watch Bortoletto. The boy from Brazil up the inside comes across the line. Finishes in second. A run wins the race. Gabriel Mini, we believe, has just taken the title by one point. Taylor Barnard finishes in third on the road. Lomko Mini was P5, head of Zemi Megotunip, and his countryman Victor Bernier. What a race! Let's have a look at the highlights. Barnard and Aron, they were rarely out of the top three at all. Aron led off the start. This was sensational, and right here, it all went wrong for the Russian. That's Kirill Small taken out on the first corner. It got scrappy between Barnard and Aron. The early laps also claimed the Lekonka winner, Hathari and David, Dino Viganovic, who was up running in P5 early on. Aron and Barnard raced superbly. Vladislav Lomko for BDK Racing also showed us what he's got, finishing in fourth this afternoon on the road. They went wheel to wheel numerous times over the course of the 13 laps. This was a sensational final. Just confirming for you, provisionally, as we see it, Mini has taken the title by 284 points to Bortoletto on 283 because he went through to take position number five on the final lap. He was in third, but almost threw it away right there when he ran off onto the grass. Was back to sixth. semi mega Tunif in the Formula K car. A great drive from the Frenchman to finish in position six ahead of his countryman, Victor Bernier. Aron went defensive. It was enough to win by just a tenth of a second. Barnard knew he would block, immediately went to the outside. Bortoletto, o menino do Brasil, down the inside, second place. And provisionally, we think has finished second in the title by just a single point. Regardless of the championship standing, what a sensational race. Paul Aron from pole position, Paul Aron from Estonia, Paul Aron from Ricky Flynn Motorsport wins by 0.135 of a second. Second place, it's Bortoletto and Taylor Barnard finishes in third. Lomko, mini fifth, we believe just enough to take the title for the Paralin team. The two French drivers, Megotonif and Bernier, finishing in sixth and seventh. The German Josh Dufek, Jordi Dimitra from Bulgaria, and Loris Cabaru rounds out the ten.
a sensational final. We go through the rest of the results for you. Unfortunately, when we turn the page in a moment, you will see Kirill Small, the round one winner at Adria, didn't get further than the second corner, taken out after just 300 metres and classified in 33rd place. He does finish fourth in the championship, though, does the Russian, which we believe has been taken by the driver from Sicily, Gabriel Mini. Paul Aron wins from Bortoletto and Taylor Barnard. A superb result. Another podium for the Englishman. The podium presentation here in Naples in just a moment. As you look at the championship standings at the bottom left of your screen, 284 for Mini plays 283 for Bortoletto. The podium presentation for a spectacular, sensational OK Junior race here at Naples in just a moment. An absolutely spectacular final here this afternoon. A beautiful day here in Naples. And in a few moments, we will do the presentation for the race and also the championship itself, which has been decided by just a single point on the very final lap, the very final corner, in fact. The drivers making their way down to the podium here at Circuito Internazionale Napoli. The fourth and final deciding round of the series here this afternoon. An incredible race. We still have three more this afternoon. The OK final in a few moments' time at the completion of this podium presentation. As I say, we will also award the championship. Beautiful trophies as ever and beautiful grid girls as ever from WSK Promotion. Just about right to go for the presentation. The Vega caps go on the drivers. 13 laps, 20 kilometres, just spectacular. Here at the foot of Vesuvius, here in Naples, Circuito Internazionale di Napoli, the fourth and final deciding round and the first final of the afternoon.
As I say, the championship, we can confirm to you, has been decided by just a single point. Here this afternoon, we are ready to get underway with the first podium presentation of the afternoon. A spectacular race in third place from England. Let's hear it for Taylor Barnard. His second podium in seven days. A brilliant drive from the boy from Brazil, Gabriel Bortoleto. From pole position, from Estonia, he had a perfect weekend. Driving for Ricky Flynn Motorsport. The winner, it's Paul Aran. Mr. Rosario Sorrentino representing Circuito Internazionale Napoli to present the trophies. In third place from England, Taylor Barnard. In second place from Brazil, Gabriel Bortoleto. The winner of the final race of the final round of the Super Masters Series from Estonia, Paul Aron. As we stand by for the national anthem of Estonia. The podium presentation here this afternoon in a spectacular junior final. Third place, Taylor Barnard. Second place, Gabriel Bortoletto. And the winner, Paul Aron. We thank Taylor Barnard and congratulate him on another third place here this afternoon. We ask Gabrielle and Paul to stay with us because in just a moment we will also award, award first, second and third in the series. It has been spectacular. Remember, we started back in early February. It was zero degrees at Adria Karting Raceway, the first round of the series. La Conca, Muro La Cese, the replay of the third round of the series just a week ago, and then the final here at Sarno here this afternoon. So third place in the series. He's just won the podium here this afternoon from Estonia, Paul Aron. Second in the series by just a single point, the boy from Brazil, Gabriel Bortoleto. 283 points for Bortoleto, 294 for the second year in a row. He is the WSK Supermaster Series champion from Sicily in Italy. The new winner, Gabriel Mini. Mr. Rosario Sorrentino representing Cerquido Internazionale Napoli to present the trophies. Third place to Paul Aron of Estonia. Second place to Gabriel Bortoleto of Brazil. His second WSK Supermaster Series title from Italy, the new champion, Gabriele Mini. As 
we stand by for the national anthem of Italy. Podium for the championship here this afternoon. Third place, Paula Ron. Second place, Gabriel Mini. And the new champion, Gabriel Mini. Gabriel Bortoletto, I should say, in second place. And Gabriel Mini. Stay with us here at Naples. The OK final in just a moment.